Who wouldn't like to come home to a succulent stuffed Cornish game hen cooking in the oven? And that is exactly what our friend Adam Taki is going to show us how to make this morning. If you don't already know, Adam is the vice president of Amazing Taste Foods and joins us to show us an easy way to make this succulent dish. Welcome back. Thank you so much. It's been <laughs> such so a pleasure to be in your kitchen. Aw, that's I love nice this kitchen. to hear. It's Thank you. Fabulous. It's Isn't spectacular. It? Yes, it is. It's gorgeous. So what what do you think of gourmet food cooked in the microwave oven? Well, you know, I, I've told you before, I, I kind of am skeptical about being able to have a full meal that is cooked in the oven as opposed to defrosted or reheated. So it's a it's, That's kind of what most people think of the I microwave so. is you either reheat leftovers, cook sure. frozen meals. However, the key to microwave cooking mm -hmm. is anything, any meats, any vegetables that are high in water content. Yes. That's the key. We'll cook wonderful in the microwave oven. So if it's high in water in content, moisture. it cooks well? High in moisture will cook fabulously in the microwave oven. That's a great Vegetables, point. broccoli, corn on the cob. Okay. Artichokes. Real, so right from scratch, not in a reheat or defrost mode, no, but we're the talking actual from scratch. cooking process. Exactly. Very good to know. And okay. with meats, cooking meat in the microwave, there's a little bit of a twist to it. Okay, you have to it? have the right seasoning. Okay. And amazing taste, amazing taste seasonings. Of course. They offer mm -hmm. the ability to cook any meat in the microwave. And to be able to give you that full taste. That yeah, it's just a little baby Cornish hen. It's very cute. Gloves for you. We don't Since have to we're in your it, right? kitchen. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna season it and you're gonna prepare it. Great. It'll be your baby game hen. Aw, okay. Fine. This is good. My mom's going to really appreciate this because she's made these all my life and it's always been a very long process and I have never assisted, so now I can do it the easy way. Put pull them up, right? Pull them up? Yeah. So pull I gotta get chicken. I gotta get some olive oil in the cavity. Okay. Oh, Let's you turn them up and way. open them up. Here you go, little oh, chicky. Little, little baby chicky. There we go. So a <laughs> yeah, little I was, olive oil. I was told you should talk to your food like a plant. Okay, now do we flip them over? Yeah, you just season, you olive oil, get olive oil on all sides of them. Okay, let's And get them season around. them up on all sides. Just okay. kind of evenly coat them with the amazing taste. Okay. Poultry seasoning. And let me get some. The key with any Cornish game hens, yes. any turkeys, is to season in the cavity. Oh, okay. That's Good so point. important in Great. bringing out the absolute... Depth, total flavor okay. from the bird. So we just have oil, olive oil and the poultry seasoning. That's it. Exactly. Okay. And That's let's. It's about as easy as it gets. Stuffing. What we'll do. Oh, we're gonna do some stuffing. Yeah, you can just use those. Great. Use your right there. You can stuff them okay. right in the cavity right there. So just take the stuffing and the yeah, don't in. yeah, don't be shy. Okay, and you can really choose your own stuff, right? You can make your own stuffing, whatever, whatever stuffing you like, whatever your favorite okay. stuffing is. This is a traditional herb stuffing. Okay, it's very easy. And it, this, I love the stuffing. It has a really good zest of flavor. It's one of my faves. Well, I always say anything with bread makes me a very happy girl. <laughs> I love my bread and my starches. It's a problem, but so, it's a good thing. So now that we have them stuffed, just put the okay. remainder of the stuffing just in the dish, just like oh, that. Okay. Yeah, surround so we'll put them in, in the there? dish. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. You kind of just, you just spread, spread them out around. evenly. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook this bird for, uh, typically, it's six to eight minutes per pound. Okay. That's, and how many pounds are we here? This pound is, this bird is about a pound and a half, uh, roughly. Wow. So I'll start him in, I'll put him in for about 10 minutes and I'll check the temperature. Okay. And we'll know he's done when it hits about 180. Oh, okay. And now we just, what would we do? Just take the temperature with one of, one of the thermometer to know? Exactly. Okay. Always have a thermometer when you're cooking. Okay. And the That's other great. thing with microwave cooking is the food continues to cook once you bring it out of the microwave. So if you have them at 175, pull them out and let him sit for five minutes, five, eight, five, six, seven minutes, and he'll continue to cook. Is this the reason why often when you're cooking microwavable dishes that, that say microwavable dishes, that they often say leave for an additional couple minutes after the timer goes off? Is that because it continues, it continues to cook? It continues to cook. See, I never understood that. That's great to know. And if you want to get into the science of microwave cooking. Yes. And, and see, I'm not a scientist, but my dad has a PhD right. in food science. Sure. And food science, and he was one of the pioneers in microwave cooking. Oh, and okay. so w what happens is the frozen meals, the molecules, uh -huh. They don't have room to move around because they're frozen together. Okay. So when it's liquid, uh -huh. those molecules, they move around and they heat like no other. Wow. 
Wow, see, that's interesting. That's a really good tip. Just think about when you keep coffee in the microwave, how fast it heats. Well, yeah, Perfect obviously, example. exactly. And we have one already We're cooked up right now. Oh, good, and we have the corn as well, right? Is this we a, we is do this have some the, corn. The recommended rock Cornish hen side dish. You tell me, <gasps> how does that baby look? And this was, okay, so again, remind us how long you had this in the microwave. He cooked for about uh, 14 minutes. Ooh, it smells good. 14 mm -hmm. minutes, and wh what color? Oh my gosh, it's brown and crispy. Golden and here, just grab a fork okay. and take a bite. Yeah, can I? You please do. Let's oh, just wow. family style. Can I go right it. into this? Go for it. Okay. Go for it. Look at the moisture. Oh How yeah. succulent. Can you get for a shot of this, Jeff? This is great. Look at that. Microwave wow. chicken. I and cannot I cannot believe that all you had to do is put this in a microwave for what it just, 10 minutes max? No, this, it, this guy was like 14 I think I said. But but for something if you you said originally how many per pound? Give us that one more time. 6 to, 6 to 8 minutes per pound depending on the strength of your microwave. So the power level you would want to normally cook on would be a high power level? Exactly. Okay. And that. I should mention for more fast recipes, mm -hmm. more information on Amazing Taste, you can visit AmazingTaste.com. We have super simple recipes, wow. stuff that doesn't take much time to cook. So what do you think? I'm loving this. I love it. I'm not just saying that. And people always ask me, do you really love everything you're eating? Well, I've been very fortunate so far that everything I've tasted is delish. Oh, my God. And you I am. <laughs> I love it. I, I gotta tell you, last oh. year, last year, I uh, my friends they always hit me up for their holiday parties because they want me to cook. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So because I got the seasonings and I, mm. uh, they invite me to come cook a turkey. Yes. So of course I agree. I wake up that morning and I say I am not in the mood to cook a twenty pound <gasps> oh, take bird. That. Sorry, my fault. I dropped it. Take so, a new it's fork. Okay. okay. So I said I got Cornish game hens in the freezer. Okay, and they're I probably thinking. I pulled out four of them. Okay threw them in cold water, yeah. defrosted them, and I cooked those things up in the microwave just like this. I took them to the party, and everyone went crazy. They I did. put them on the table, and everyone just helped themselves, just like we're doing right now. Uh, well, Excuse I'm going to ask you an interesting question about that, because I think part of us wants to kind of trick people and let them think that we slaved all day to make this. But at the same time, because this is something that you do and you offer, don't you want to tell them the secret, too? Well, to around that. Uh, yes and no. Mm. It kind of depends... It's it's so moist. It's a slippery slope, right? <laughs> but what you were saying about telling them, it's up to you. Okay. You know, yeah. this is my secret. I'm sure. sharing it with you. I love and it's it. up to you to do what you want with it. I'm this. loving it. And okay, real quick, tell me what we would do with the corn. You just put it in the microwave as well for corn, how long? These corns, I take traditional corn, like a traditional size, mm -hmm. about four minutes with the husk on. I wrap it in a paper towel. That's paper it. Paper towel? Okay. The Malibu seasoning, the all purpose, amazing taste. Okay. That's Malibu. Let me season it for you. Okay. And I just sprinkle it on instead great. of salt, instead of butter. Just like that. You Such a great idea. Take and a, a bite. healthier option and a more economical one as well. You've Thank never you, had corn on the cob until you've cooked it in the microwave oven. I'm trying and I'm definitely trying this one and I will impress people and so will you. And all you need to do to get this recipe is go to casa.com and it's right there for you. We'll keep eating and you guys come right back.